Hello friends. Today, in this video, with the help of 3D animation, we are going to learn about how VFDs works. So let's get start. As we all know, in the industry, mechanical loads like pump, fan, blower, HVAC, and many more devices, which are mostly driven by the induction motors. And to control the speed of load, we need to control the speed of induction motors. And that speed of the induction motor will be controlled by the help of the VFD means variable frequency drive only. So let's start. How VFD works and control the speed of induction motor. First, as you see here, this is the HMI display. From where you can set parameters, settings, and monitor required data, likes, speed, current, voltage, frequency, and etc. And after removing this cover, we see inside the drive, first component is rectifier unit, which is used to convert a C into DC. So symbolic representation of rectifier is like this. An input of this rectifier unit is three phase AC supply. So three phase power feed to the rectifier unit, then it will convert three phase AC into the DC. But this output is not pure DC. It has ripple, or we can say the output of the rectifier is pulsating DC. After that second component is DC bus which is consist of multiple capacitor bank, as you see here, and which is used here for the purpose to smoothening and filtering the DC supply. And symbolic representation is just like this. So this capacitor is filtered pulsating DC supply into pure DC. As you see here, then after third component is inverter module, which is consist of IGBT device and it will convert DC supply into the AC supply. So output of this inverter module will directly goes to the induction motor. So symbolic representation of inverter module is look like this. And this DC supply directly come to this inverter module and from all three limbs, each phase taken out in which is act as three phase C output of the VFEIFD. And this VFD output will directly feed to induction motor through the cable as you see here. But friend, I think now you guys were thinking that how speed will be controlled. So now let's, let's discuss the main part of VF. This are the PCB card inside the VFD in which first, this is main control card, then second. IO card means input output card. And then this is IGBT gate driver card which is control the gate triggering of IGBT. So let's discuss all of them one by one. So as and when VFEFD gets speed reference signal, which is in terms of 4 to 20 milliampere, which signal directly come to the input-output card. Then this CAD is having multiple analog input, analog output, digital input, and digital output slot. So this card will receive speed reference and give signal to the main controller card. So main controller card will produce P double UM mean pulse with modulation as per the speed of motor need to control. And that P double UM signal will goes to this IGBT driver card. So this card will trigger gate of IGBT such a way that it will change the frequency and voltage of this inverter output and which will control the speed of the induction motor. So whenever the reference signal will change, this will recognize by this input-output card, and it will give a signal to main controller card, and main controller card generate PW met. Accordingly, in gate driver card control gate of IGBT, and this is how output of drive change and speed of motor control. If you learned something new from this video, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe channel